Okay, I just received a pretty interesting 4790K CPU from China, or well, technically from Japan, but via China. And the CPU can actually do 5 GHz Cinebench with just normal paste between the die and the IHS at around 1.26, 1.27 volts. With liquid metal, I think the voltage requirement would be like 1.25, 1.24. So it's at the same level where my legendary 4770K was back in the day before it died due to a faulty motherboard. So let's see how this CPU performs on LN2. I really would like to get some good numbers on the 4790K as well, as I never had a really good 4790K or Devil's Canyon Pentium K uh, overall. So uh, ASRock Z97 OC formula, of course, which is my favorite motherboard for any Haswell CPU or Devil's Canyon. Now I will start with G-Skill Trident X Samsung uh, D-Die. Uh, as it's easier, and I can then change to uh, LN2 cooled power chip based DDR3 memories for like SuperPi, etc. But I should be able to do good enough memory score even in Geekbench 3 with those memories. So uh, I will start in Windows 7, I will do most of the multi core tests in Windows 7, and I have Windows XP ready as well for uh, the older 2D stuff like Super Pi, Pi Fast, W Prime, etc. So uh, yeah, pretty straightforward. In the new operating systems I use the Galaxy 710 GT Fish Bone graphics card and in uh, XP I use the NVIDIA 6500 GT. I'm using the Elmer Labs heater plate which has the different uh, section for the memory. It will help if I run the memories on LN2 uh, as well and of course it heats backs out of the CPU as well. I'm running that from another power supply over there and I'm using the Seasonic Prime 1300 watt Platinum for the system itself. T-Rex container, the latest revision, and I'm using the pink thermal paste on both sides. So between the die and the IHS and between the IHS and the base of the container. But anyway, so I just need to enable the LN2 mode and we can pretty much start. So hope for the best. Let's see what happens. I assume, I'm pretty sure we should be able to hit at least at least 6.2 multi-core, but maybe even 6.3, but I try to play it safe. I don't want to damage the CPU like too early on due to some weird settings or something like that. Okay, now I'm uh, at minus 110, 57. I can actually try I can actually try to raise it straight to 6 GHz. I should, I'm pretty sure it should run just fine. I need to find the cold bug. Usually, back in the day when I ran this for the first time, I always checked the cold bug first and just ran close to that temperature. Cash, I don't have much idea like what's good, what is not. So 6 gigahertz. 1.6 volts. Much easier to control the temperatures nowadays with these newer containers like T-Rex compared to when, like, uh, in uh, 2013, 2014, 2015, we mainly used uh, original SF3D or the F1 Dark. They are m much slower, at least more simple design, so this is much, much easier. 1326. I definitely don't want to push the voltages too high right now. I want to play it safe. So 5361. Once 124. Not, that's, that's definitely not a good sign.
so far, based on my experience, these Devil's Canyon CPUs, they don't scale that well from cold temperatures compared to the original Haswell 4770K. Thirteen point nine is the top score. Okay, I might actually try. I will lower the cache by one notch, although I'm pretty sure it was the core. Yeah, no, okay, small improvement from software pretty much, I mean from the operating system itself. We could try, I probably want to run 6 to 1 billion, that's the next thing. And then we can try a bit more, but so far doesn't seem that good. So it's very easy to, for someone to beat these scores, as you can probably imagine. So. Uh, Sadly, the CPU just doesn't want to scale. It's pretty annoying. Top score is 3 minutes 20 something seconds at only 5.7. Shouldn't be too hard. Okay, that should be pretty nice improvement. Maybe 12 seconds or so, maybe even more. It was three minutes, 26.194. So this is a uh, yeah, pretty nice improvement. Almost 20, like, yeah, it's actually I looked wrong. So it's 26 second improvement, that's pretty, High gain, if you ask me. By some American guy called Bjork, Bjork, however you want to call it. Okay, so sadly, the CPU is very, very bad. So not even 6.2 multi-core, it's quite close. Maybe on a lucky run with high voltages, it could pass it, but barely at a high risk of cold bug at the end of the test. So. 6.1, easy, 6.2, no go. So this is actually a bit worse than my previous best 4790K, which definitely wasn't this good on water cooling. So this is the common issue with Devil's Canyon CPUs. They just don't scale that well from the cold temperatures of LN2 compared to the original Haswell 4770K. Even if this CPU is on par with my old 4770K on water, the difference is huge on LN2 cooled performance. So like this CPU, 6.1 to 6.2 in that range for multi-core, my old 4770K, above 6.4 in Cinebench, 6.5 GPU Pi 1 billion, 6.6 to 6.7 in hardware but prime. So a huge difference if you ask me. So uh, it's very hard to find a very good LN2 capable 4790K or any Devil's Canyon CPU. So I have to keep looking. I don't know what I will do with the CPU. I might actually sell it if some uh, normal user wants a very good like Haswell or Devil's Canyon because the CPU is damn awesome on uh, like water cooling. So uh, I managed to get the top score in uh, GPU Pi 100 uh, megabytes and uh, or 100 million and uh, 1 billion. So. I think it was like half a second improvement at the end in 100 million and in 1 billion it was like 26 second improvement which is kind of huge. So those are obviously good results. They are the max point amount on HWBot but you, sh you should never bench for bo uh, points but it's something I managed to do anyways. The max on the single, single for the performance was close to 6.4 and the target is at least 6.5 in SuperPi 32M, PiFast, etc. So not good enough. So uh, 
I'm not gonna waste any more LN2 on this one, so I will move on to something else. So this is pretty much a short video of my new 4790K attempts. I actually waited for like two months to get the CPU as I knew what it could do on water cooling, but sadly that's how it is. It's not the first time I see something like this happen with the 4790K. I've seen numerous golden ambient 4790K CPUs and they are just completely crap on LN2. Some CPUs might cope bug very early on and some just don't scale at all. Cope bug was okay from minus 133 to minus 136. So it's definitely all right that they're in that way, but it's not good enough scaling. But yeah, I will upload the scores on hardwarebot.org, those two I mentioned. And uh, yeah, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Maybe check out my Patreon page as well if you want to support my work. And yeah, thanks for watching one of my videos once again, and I will see you on the next one.